Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing today? Well, I, I'm doing a project that I wanted to do because I was um, lucky, lucky enough to find a lot of these um, slide mounts. Uh, they're actually not the mounts, they're actually the, the actual photo slides. And I thought, wow, what can I do with those, you know? And of course, as in everything in mixed media, you're never the first one to think of it. So I got online and I looked and I found a few people that have done stuff. And I thought, well, I'm going to do my own little twist on it and see how it goes. Uh, I really enjoyed all of the videos that I did see online. Um, Lori Marie had some. Almut uh, Olson, I think her last name is, had some. Rachel had some. Um, but they're, they're, they're all different. And I mean, there's only so much you can do with these, but, um, I thought, well, I'm going to try my own little thing. And what I thought would look really cool in here is these, I'm part of my nails and stuff because I'm still moving, but I thought would look really cool in here would, would be some of the, um, images from the Trader Joe's because, you know, these Trader Joe images, they're very old fashioned and they're small. And so I really like the Trader Joe's um, aspect in these old uh, picture mounts. So that's this one. And I went ahead and I covered it. See the shiny? I put some of this um, transparency over the top of it. And then I backed it with an old-fashioned looking um, paper. So I thought that was really And then I... Um, um, went over it with some uh, vintage photo. This one, now these are interesting, and I'll show you the, well, okay, so these, this kind here is just basic, th there's no way to open them, you have to cut the the um, the film out. These, um, you can pop the film out, and I'll show you that. So with those, what I did is I went ahead and I used these stamp stickers, and I put it on both sides. So see, uh, I just put, actually, I put it on the uh, the uh, the film that's already in there. But you can open these up. But that's a that's another that's another. We didn't really have to open this one up. But I'll show you how you can do that. Now this one is how Lori Marie did it. She used uh, I don't know how exactly how she did it, but she used the transparency to um to put in. Hold on, guys. There we go. To put in the um a a. Uh, uh, a stamp so she stamped on it with stays on like I did this one and then um, and what you had to do is I had to back it because I had to place it behind it but yet I didn't want the back to be but we'll go over these three three different types of um, uh, methods so that you can see it and we won't be all day but I just wanted to share this project with you because there's really not that many out there so let's start the first one with this kind of um, of uh, where you have to cut the paper out, and I'll show you how I did that. So let me grab one of those real quick. Doesn't matter which one, but the first thing you have to do is you have to cut out the um, film. Okay. I wish I was closer for you, but um, maybe I could go down a little bit lower. But uh, you'll get the gist of it. When I get my new camera, it'll be a lot easier. I will tell you, when you're cutting out this film, don't be shy. Get in that corner and really get it out there and kind of tilt it because, um, actually, maybe if I go on the other side, yeah, I don't think it really matters, but go inwards with it because um, you're going to get some left on there and you're going to want to get it all out. Get it all out the best that you can. See, I just left some on there, but that's okay because when I um, pull this out, I can actually see, you can see there's some, like, see it? Yeah, the little edges, you don't want to leave that in there. So you'll have to go back in there and pull it out, get it out pretty good. There we go. That one came out really good. Oh, this one would have been easy. Okay, so, well, not, no, I, I lied. Never mind. Scratch that thought. <laughs> but I'm glad that these are pulling out pretty cool. Okay, so good. And then save these little pictures. Hi, Gray. This is a, uh, looks like Big Ben. I, don't, I know you can't see it, but I always put those in my junk drawer now. So, like, I always do since today. <laughs> since I started doing this project today. All right, so we're going to start with this one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pick out a little, um, some kind of, like, thing that would be cute on here. Oh, that rabbit is cute, right? I actually like that little rabbit. But let's find another one. Let's see if there's something that's better. 
um, this guy's head or these two girls. Those girls are cute. A hand. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, this is perfect. It's a, uh, when you said it was a hybrid gala, this is not what I expected. It's like a goat. Goats and wolves. That's kind of a weird. Let's see if we can find something that makes a little bit more sense. That's a little odd. So I'm uploading. Oh, that'd be cute. Little pictures of the moo moo cows. And you can do and you can do it the horizontal or vertical way. So there's not a lot of pictures in this particular. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. These are like some um some uh, um. Yeah, I like that. It's an avocado. Oh, but I like that better. Just a nice little um, picture of a, uh, what do you call it? Botanical. A little botanical picture. I like that. So we'll just take that out. Okay, we'll work with that. Put this aside for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is, and I backed it, so we're going to get a piece of this paper too. Um, just it doesn't matter where. Hi, Gray. How you doing, honey? How you doing? I want a smaller font. Like, right, this would be cute. That'd be cute. How's my girl today? Huh? How's my baby? Let's see, Gracie. She's, she's, uh, she's getting used to it here. So, oh, and I need a picture of, and I need a square of this, too, to add to it. Because we want it to still look like it's, you know, we want it to have that shiny, you know, so it has that. Let's see. Right there. We need that. Okay. So what we'll do, and I like this to be on the front. This, and, okay. So we take this little guy, and we'll just go ahead and put him on here like so. But first, we're going to put this little guy on here like so. And, uh... Aliens work fine, you guys, and so don't don't fret it. Aliens work just fine. I was a little worried. I thought, ooh, will aliens actually do anything with that, uh, with that, this? And it, and it does. I just don't want to get it all over the place here. So stick that on there like that, and it was perfect. And then we'll do the same thing with this. Um, I'm stick it on this side now. I hope I'm doing this right, you guys. <laughs> I only did it once, so yeah, that's fine. There we go. That's fine, right? So we got that. And then we'll just go ahead, go ahead and add this to the back, like that. And that, I mean, this is super simple and super fun. I just really enjoyed it. So I'll just rub it around with your fingers. Let's see. It doesn't have to be exactly, but I kind of want it to be like that. There we go. Okay, let's move that up a little bit. There we go. And then just smush it down really good. And I cut little um, circles, little holes, with my crocodile. Is that what this is called? Oh, memory keepers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a crocodile thing. But it's got a small hole. And I thought, you know, you can add things to these. You can put tassels on them. You can. I saw some people online where they put them together and made books out of them. There's so many things that you can do with these. They're so much fun. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we're not going to make a book today. We're just going to, I'm just making this simple little project, just a share, because I noticed that there wasn't too many of these out there that I could find. And I thought, well, I want to do that. Plus, I have all of those things. And I really wanted to do a little project today. So here we are doing a little project today. And, oh, I have a question for you guys. So if you can help me out with that, I would be so grateful. All right, so there we go. Isn't that cute? And so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, vintage photo. Um, normally, I think I should have done this first just to go to make sure I got an inside here, but I'm not too, I'm not too worried about it. You guys, you know, know me, I'm not too precious about anything. But my question is, for those of you that have one of these, how do I put this back on here? I don't want to staple it. What do I do? How do I, do I use hot glue because, um, or Aileen's, or what glue do I put this back on here with that can be pulled off later, but yet it'll stay on when I need it? Can you, does anybody know? 
So if you can help me with that problem, I'd be ever so grateful. This is so cute. But yeah, the Trader Joe's little images are just great for this project. So save those Trader Joe's images. You know, I've got lots of them. I've been saving them for, for a long time. So, yeah. So look how fast that was just to make the first one. And then you can, like I said, you can um, poke a hole in it. And I find this small hole. And, um, you know, poke one or two. You can add these to junk journals. Um, you can also glue these into the side of your um, journals and just have them sticking out. You know what I mean? Like, here's your journal. And you can just, well, here, let's use this as a journal. You can just have them like this and then sticking out as a tab. Isn't that cute? So, you know, so these are just fun little things. So, there's that method. And I kind of want to go around this again. So, the first one is very fast. Okay. So, we've got that kind. Now, let's go ahead and do this kind. Now, this kind, what I did was, not that one. I'll find one that doesn't have any writing on it. So, this one. So, you can open these. There's two different kinds. There's the kind that you can't really open and then the kind that you can but instead of opening it, what I what I did was I'm just going to use go ahead and use the film that's in there as my um, my um, my backing, you know, so that I can put this stamp in there. Let's see, do these stamps fit pretty good? Oh, almost perfect. Hello. So there's one little stamp. It's a little big, but that's okay. We're not caring. Oh, okay. So now since it went this way, we have to make sure. Okay, and then this one does the same. You can trim these down with a stamp. Um, I have a stamp thing, but I'm, I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy. <laughs> Imagine that, Dawn being lazy. I got something on my arm there. There we go. You can kind of maybe push that underneath it. There we go. Just do that too. You can always do that. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind it. I'm not a perfectionist. And then again, um, that's just how simple that is. And just, um, you know, so you can use any image you want on these. And then, you know, just go ahead and, and paint them up. You can spray paint them before you actually do anything with them. I would do that. I would put all of those in a big box and spray. Just spray, spray, spray. But isn't that cute, you guys? I mean, isn't that just a super ador adorable little idea? I loved these things. And I... I, I, I didn't realize there was two different kinds until I, until I started looking on lunch. Oh, and there, actually there's more. There's the kind that you can actually find that are open and never been used that are really easy to use. These are the hardest kind to do. But as you can see, even even if it's, since it was hard, it wasn't, I mean, it really only took a minute. So this is just a fun little fast project that I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick that under the layer. Like so, and then we're going to poke our holes, small holes, right here. And I'm going to do it too, because I could like link these together. Now you can link these together, like put holes here, like down here, let's do it. And then you could actually use, um, what are they called, you guys? Jump rings, okay, to put those together to make like a little plate, you know what I mean? Like a little art thing. All right, so the last one we're going to do is this one here and this one is the one where we just used a little stamp okay so we need to go ahead and take out again we need to take out the um, the um, actual film that's in here this one's a little interesting so we'll get, and it, but it's still it's a fun little project and you can you can go to town on these you guys you can put lace on them you can mix media them up I'm just being a little lazy because you know that's me. You know I don't ever do. <laughs> I'm just kind of a lazy, lazy Jane. Ooh, that's pretty. It's all palm trees. Ooh, I love that. I like to look at the pictures. Um, yeah, you can just pull these out. You don't have to cut them. These are kind of cool. I, I'd like to keep these. These are kind of cool. I'll just keep those for something. I love those. Very cool. Okay. All right, now on this one, what did I do? Oh yeah, so I found the um, this, and I went ahead and um, just kind of wing it here, you guys. You don't really have to do it. 
Okay. Still not have enough. I always knew hanging on to this was a good idea. So find your smaller um, stamps. So I have these small stamps. I don't think I'm going to use that little flower again, although I did like it. Oh, let's use this little bird. So get your archival ink out. Back in another pile. I'm going to stamp over here make sure it looks good. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, so we're just going to put that right there. No, I don't like it. It's I smushed it. Let's do this again without smushing it this time if I can. Just don't press so hard. There we go. That's all you need to do. Boy, I smushed the heck out of that, didn't I? Okay, so we'll uh, cut this out. Okay, let that dry. Super cute little bird. See it? Super cute. Let's let that dry. And then what we need to do with this is we need to cut out, we need to, you know, we don't want the back. We need to be able to, you know, frame it, right, with that. So, you know, so we're going to take a piece of this, and I don't particularly care. We'll just use this piece today, right now, and we'll trace it. You're going to trace because we want to frame it. So go find some of these. Um, let me know how you how you like it. I I've had a ball doing it um, this morning. I did a few in between some other stuff that I was working on, and I thought, oh, I just can't wait to show these. Um, you know, I love to alter things. You know, and I just never have enough um, stuff to alter. But boy, when I saw those, I I said, ooh, I'll take those. And my, um, this is so, uh, dull, <laughs> like, super dull. And you know me, I'm not trying to be perfectionist because to me that takes all the fun out of it. I don't want to be a perfectionist. I hate, I don't like perfection. I'm perfectly happy not being a perfectionist. How's that? All right. I did I already cut that part so make sure okay so then we take this and we put it on there like so okay so we stick this little guy on here like that can you see him let's see I don't know I don't know yeah see you cute let's see Isn't that cute Little bird, just a plain little bird, and then we glue him on there. And again, this worked great. I was just really happy. You don't need a lot, you just need a pinch. Just a pinch. For, I didn't know what to use at first. Look at I'm making it dirty because my little fingers, my little dirty mitts. Okay. And then you just want to put your um, thing right here, and it's going to be that way. Yeah, perfect. That's so cute. Okay, now let's put this on here, and we'll trim around the edge. And um, you might see these in some of my journals that I'm making um, eventually, if I ever get back to journal making, that is. Um, yeah, let's see them in some swaps. I'm trying not to get that on there like that. But if you do, it'll always wash off. Okay, there we go. Cute. Super cute. Mm, cute. So cute, I don't know. I can't tell if you can see it or not, but it's very close to see through. Okay, so then we'll trim her up. Trim it up. Yeah, that's Dorbs. And then we'll hit it with some... Um, 
Hit it with some, uh, I'm just using the Distress Oxide, the vintage photo today to do these. I'm not making a big deal about, about it at all, you guys. I'm not painting. I mean, these can be painted. They can be collaged. You know, if you want to do it, they can be laced up to make feminine, you know, that kind of thing. So, but I like them simple like this. I think they're fun. So let's go ahead and add some of, let's close that up. And then we're going to do this. I like the red. It's kind of a cute little collection, I think. Actually, this goes this way. And it says Evergreen Film Service, Eugene, Oregon. Isn't that cute? Isn't that funny? I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I can just see these being used in projects, you know, and other mixed media. But just little elements that you can put to your in your books and in your uh, journals, on your art pages, in your swaps. So, um, here, on. here. There we go. Isn't that adorable, you guys? So let's go ahead and add a little hole to that in case I decide to um, add a dangle or two. Or, you know, you can add little beads to it, little bits and bobs. You know, super cute, right? So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little project and uh, make some and share share yours online because there's just not enough to look at out there, you guys. I was like, oh, I need some ideas. So, um, but I really think if you have some of these um, um, Trader Joe's images, oh my gosh, they're like perfect. Aren't they cute? Now, this one I smudged up before I put it in there, and I didn't smudge this one up, but that's okay. It still, it still has a good look about it. So that's there's three methods here to do it. To leave the film in there, which I didn't have to use these plastic ones for that. I should have not done that with these plastic. These plastic ones are great to pull apart. Let me show you how to do that. So you pull these apart. You have to find the... Um, okay, here we go. It's really cool. Well, I just broke this one, but that's okay. Um, you have to be more careful than me, but see they pull apart like so and then you can take this out and use that in any project and then put whatever you want inside here and then just cut it. So that's fun, but you have to be careful because like this one I just broke, but then I noticed they're hard to get back to you know, snap back together. They don't snap back in very good, so you'd have to hit it with a little bit of glue, but that's fun. So let's try that again really quick. Oh, okay. It, maybe if I'm not so manhandly and if I'm a little bit more careful, there we go. There we go. There we go. So see, and then you can just pop those back together and have, you know, or you can use them as frames in your other artwork or whatever. You, these are just really fun little elements. I just, I just fell in love with them and I got them um, for a pretty good deal at this art place. So anyway, I hope that you guys like this project as much as I do. Ooh, that's pretty. And um, these can be used, again, these can all be used in um, other projects. So I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going to cut this short. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye now.